be making a Mexican goulash. You're going to have to brown up one pound of ground beef. I'm going to finish browning that and then drain the grease and then I'll come back to the next step. Now you're going to add one ounce of taco seasoning or you can make your own. If you have not seen that video, I will post it at the end of this video of my homemade taco seasoning. Now you're going to add a third a cup of diced onion and a quarter cup of diced bell peppers. It doesn't matter which kind you want to use. I have red and yellow here. You're going to add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. You well, know, people say it differently, but it, I'm not really sure if I'm saying it right. You're going to add one cup of frozen corn. I've got a cup left in this bag. I'm going to throw that in. Then you're going to add half a cup of salsa, any kind of salsa you want. I'm using the chunky and I'm just going to put a little, the rest of this in there and make a little more than a half a cup. Turn this down on simmer. And then you're going to put in one cup of pre-cooked elbow macaroni in there. You're going to cook this al dente for eight minutes. I put salt in my water when I'm cooking my macaroni too. And then mix that all in there. Mmm, this smells good with all of those flavors. Now you're going to add your a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is the great value brand of Rotel. You're going to mix that in. Your bell peppers are diced so it shouldn't take long for them to get done. Then you're going to cover it and let it simmer I'd say probably about 10 minutes until the peppers and onions are soft. Let me check the peppers and see if they're done. I'm going to plate it up and try it for you. I'm going to try it for you. This is really good. This is probably my favorite goulash now. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe. And click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.